we did the uh, transactions based on these three vendors whom we have taken as a target to evaluate if we understand how one vendor is evaluated we can also understand how the second is second vendor is evaluated and how the third vendor is also evaluated so we created the transactions what we created the transactions we created the purchase order number purchase order we took a purchase order quantity as 100 in which the statistical delivery date was 21 7 2020 and we did a delivery date variance in the goods set that is in MIGO as 23 7 2020 to bring a variance and also we did a variance in the purchase order between the purchase order quantity and the delivery quantity also purchase order quantity is 100 delivery quantity in goods receipt in migo it is 80. so and here i have noted down the mode of variance the mode of the mode of variance is time variance is two days 23 minus 21 is two days and the quantity variance is minus 20. there is 80 minus 100 is minus 20. okay now how do i derive the score the for the derivation of score, I go to my this app, Supplier Evaluation, Weighting, and Scoring, that we have already done in our test data. Okay, when we created our test data. So let us go there again and let us see. We go here. We go here. Nothing harm to check. Oh, you are already. Okay, I am already in that stream, so I can just go back. And I can see my purchasing category. My purchasing category is not visible, so I have to go to more. And my purchasing category will get visible. So here, what criteria I have chosen? Time. Let us go to time. Because we did a variation variation in the between the statistical delivery date and the actual goods receipt date. Time. And the variation and the variance is positive correct two days the score is 95. two days next we'll go to quantity variance quantity variance is minus 20 20 why it is minus 20 that is 80 minus 100 is minus 20. so let us see what is the score a vendor will get when he is on minus 20. So we have to go to the quantity. We have to go here. When it is minus 20, it is 10. So exactly the score will get reflected what I have put in my sheet. So now going one step ahead. Now we have to see actually how the scores are calculated. <coughs> First, we will understand how the operation score is calculated. Now, here, if you see, we in this app. In this app, if you see, we have given a weightage to quantity as 50% and to time as 25%. And the questionnaire as 25%. Questionnaire will deal it later. So here, 50% of 10 is 5. 95, 25% of 95 is 23.75. If you add 5 and 23.75, 5 and 23.75 23.75 this is 28.75 but this 28.75 represents how much 75 percent of the, of this the overall score so now if i if i want to if i so this 28.75 this is the score. I will write here like this here. This represents represents the, the score. This represents the fraction in overall score. 
overall score. Overall score. So in the overall score, 5 and 23.75 is 28.75 is is it is getting represented in the overall score in the overall score now but we have got another parameter called operational score we have got another parameter called operational score and in the overall score 28.75 represents how much it represents 75 75 percentage Twenty eight point seven five is seventy five percent. That is the value of twenty eight point seven five is seventy five. Now, what will be the value? Now, if we take operational score as hundred, operational score as hundred, then what will be the value? What shall be the value? of 28.7 operation now if we take the operational score as 100 <coughs> sorry then what shall be the value of 28.75 so how we will do the calculation i'll put a calculator here. that's 28.75 divided by 75 multiplied by 100. 38.33. So 28.75, if it is 75 percent of something, then 28, then, then, then if I calculate in 100. Now, if I calculate what is the value of 28.75 in 100, then it comes to 38.33. Then it comes to 38.33. That means this 38.33 will be the operational score for this vendor. Operational score. Also. The calculations will be a little bit complex because it is a calculation. So, so, so now let us see for this vendor whether the operational score is thirty-eight point three three or not. So, so let us go to that respective app. Operational supplier evaluation. Again, operations of operational scores, as I and again I'm repeating, it will take only the hard facts. Overall, evaluation score will take the hard facts and the question is. So we'll see that as we jump from operational to the overall score, the scores calculations are also going to change. So we are going to give the filter here. We'll change the currency to USD. We'll give it a filter here. We'll give it a supply error here. What is our supplier? Is our supplier. Correct? So see it is so easy to search. <coughs> see it is so easy to search and put put the parameters, whatever parameters I want. See, exactly, this is 38.3, and this is the operational score. Have you seen? It's getting alert. Operational score. Now, from here only, we can go to the overall score. Now, you see, the, in the overall score, the calculation pattern is going to change. What how, how it is going to change? It is going to go according to this calculation now. That is, question is, we already saw that this, this vendor ending with 82, 
he has scored 50 over his weightage is 25 and quantity and time we have already seen how much he has scored and what is the weightage so this will accumulate to, to 41.25 this 41.25 41.25 41.25 is the model score. So let us see. Let us see. So we can go to show mini, ch mini charts. One step we can go from here. Little bit decimal this side, that side it will be there. See, you go here across all evaluations. See. How, how nicely it comes. How nice is 38.2 is the operation score. 50 is the questionnaire score. And 41.15 is the overall score. So I have segmented the whole thing into operation score and evaluation score. Overall, overall evaluation score. And showed you the demo. So here I complete the vendor evaluation in SAP S4 HANA. I think so you have clearly understood what was not there in ECC, what is there in SAP S4 HANA. What are the improvements that has taken place? How it has become so flexible? So we should recap again, purchasing categories, questionnaires that were not there. And here we can do so many things through fear. <coughs> Sorry, through fear apps. Even I can also if I'm, I can also add filter, we can put more supplier. We have to come, come from there. Okay, no problem. We will go here and do it. No problem. Sometimes it will it takes time to load. No problem. We will come to the operation supplier and we we'll do it. And from there we we'll go. No problem. So here it is coming. So, <clears throat> so now, now see, we can compare between two vendors. We can compare between two vendors because two suppliers we have added. Two suppliers we have added. We can go to open in supplier. That also we can do. But like this, we can open. Okay. So, so many things we can do. Or else I will show you another thing. Chart view. See, like this also, operation score, like this 69.9. And we can compare the two vendors 69.9, 38.3. Obviously, I will go for this vendor. So, so you have seen that whatever what are the differences in the vendor evaluation chapter between SAPCC and SAPS for HANA. I started with SAPCC, gave you the demo, then went for the classification of ECC and S4 HANA vendor evaluation. Then I explained you the concept of vendor evaluation in SAPS for HANA, and I showed you the demo. Like this, with this approach, with this, I finish today's class. See you in the next class. In the next class, again, we are going to study MRP, our approach will be the same. We will study the MRP in SAP ECC. I hope your basic concepts are clear with, uh, with MRP. Then we will see what are the simplifications and what are the changes happened in SAP S4HANA. Like this, we are going to take the approach in each and every chapter.
what what, what was in ucc what is in Esquadana? because some of the person who are little bit who has forgotten sap ucc it will be a recap for them and some of the person who are weak we, they can get the knowledge and they can take the knowledge ahead with sap Esquadana. so thank you for your patient listening and wish you a good day ahead and here i will publish my presentation and i'll see you next week